At our assessment days, Professor Fiona Gribble and her team measured everyone's gut hormone levels. Those with the smallest rise in hormones when they ate were selected for the feasters group. For most of us, when food arrives in our intestines, hormones are released. These hormones are chemical signals. They travel through the blood and reach the brain. This is how they tell us when we've had enough food and should stop eating. But people in our feasters group produce less of these gut hormones, in particular, one called GLP-1. It means the signal that tells them to stop eating is weaker. Fiona predicts that because of the low levels of their gut hormone, once the feasters start eating, they'll find it hard to stop. <laughs> Quick, get them before someone else does. <laughs> to prove her theory, she's measuring exactly how much everyone's eating. Each bowl contains around 150 calories. And the waiters are collecting every one that's finished. Away from the banquet is the room where the data is being compiled. But it's not the kind of data you'd normally expect in a science experiment. This is where the plates are being counted. Our waiters are placing the empty plates next to the picture of the relevant volunteer so we know how much they've eaten. For a normal meal, six of these bowls should be plenty for a man and five should be plenty for a woman. The volunteers have been eating for an hour and the plates are stacking up. Fiona's prediction for the feasters seems to be coming true. There are a few who are already standing out as eating much more than everyone else. This chap, Peter, is one of them. He's consumed many more plates than many of the others. What's he at so far? He's had about 12 plates already, and more than half of his daily calories already just in the first half of this meal. So 12 plates of 150 calories each, so he's way over 1,500 calories, he's almost at 2,000 calories, and that's, you know, a man only needs 2,500 in a day. Peter is a feaster and other members of the feasters group are eating similarly. Well, I've been watching Heidi, who has also managed to power her way through about 12 dishes so far. And she's been, she's been drinking as well, so she'll have got quite a lot of extra calories from the wine. Next to Heidi, we have Alistair. He's so far got through 17. 17, really. So he is now well over the amount that a, a kind of average man would need right. in a whole day. When everyone's finished, the plates are collected and counted. With the non-feasters, no volunteers ate more than 14 plates. But with the feasters, nine volunteers ate more than 14 plates. And one of the feasters ate 19 plates. For Fiona Gribble, it shows the strong link between a lack of hormones in the gut and not being able to stop eating. <laughs> 